how to customize Google form according to your company brand now this is a question which a lot of business owners ask me and that's what I'm going to cover in this quick video hi guys I'm Kevil Kishan India's leading business automation coach helping business owners past eight years to give them freedom from daily fire helping them to automate their business processes and I want you to click on the subscribe button it's absolutely free to do the same every week we are bringing tons of you know videos valuable lessons to help you grow your business and it will be awesome to have you as a subscribe member to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out and you keep upgrading yourself so let's learn on how can you customize Google form according to your company brand according to the colors and the fonts and so that when you add a Google form to your website on where you share this Google form with your client your client is able to connect with your brand in a better way so let's see on how can we do the same so this is where you can see this is a simple Google form which is called a request to callback form which you can add on a website and you know in one of the lesson in the YouTube I have covered on how can you embed the Google form onto your website but here in this lesson let's see on how can we customize this Google form to make it much more connected as our connected like much more design it for your company brand okay so you can see here uh, this is an option given as customized theme now this is where everything is given when it comes to designing uh, your Google form so let me click here so when you click here first of all it gives you the option of uh, creating a header or choosing a header right so when you click here here it gives you a lot of uh, ready-made templates which will become the header of your Google form or you can you know kind of uh, search it from your drive or you can upload it if you have it on this particular size so you can just google it out on what is the size which is required for you know making the header on your google form right now just to show you an example i'm just gonna choose any of them for example you uh, i think we can choose from any of this let me just choose this one this as a design so you click here and you click on insert and guess what we have added uh, a header image on the Google form so obviously if you want to add off your company name so make sure this kind of size uh, your image should be where at the left eye side you can have the logo of your company at the right bottom side you can have the email address and the contact number and then uh, in the middle you can have one liner where you are adding you know your tagline of your business now alongside with that here you will see that Google form give you the option of changing the theme colors as well right and here you can add any custom color as well to you know just make it more uh, attractive and just connect with your brand so whatever brand you uh, your company have you if you know the code you can add it and you can customize it according to your company brand and at the here other option is called background color so here you can choose the background color as well and again uh, theme color is where we are talking about you know this this, this color where uh, this is designed and the background color is on how it looks like at the background so do you want to make it light you want to make it dark and then next is font style do you want to just keep it basic or do you want to make it uh, decorative for example you are a catering business where and you want to make it more uh, creative or there is another font style called formal and then playful if you are you know having google form to take the admission of the uh, children or kids in your play school so for different purposes google has given these fonts although this is limited it give you four type of options but you know it's good enough and i you know most of the time use basic as the font and uh, so font style is there background color is there theme color is there and here you can add the uh, header image now this is it on the customizing the form but there is one more thing which I want to share what if you can add a YouTube video on the Google form yes you heard it right if you have your company introduction video on the YouTube channel you can add that video onto your Google form so that when you share the Google form with somebody the person watches the video as well so it increases your YouTube uh, you know views on the video and the person is able to connect with you your company as a brand and maybe in that video you can explain on how to fill this form or you can explain on what you do and why you do it or you can explain on why they should fill the form and what will they get in return 
or whatever the context you want to have in your video because a lot of times you can create a big form but a lot of people might get confused that you know what all fields it has and you know how should they fill it or what is the context of it or after filling the form what next so you can just record a small video using your mobile phone you can upload that video onto youtube and then you can uh, add it to your google form but you want to know on how to do the same check it out so it's very easy you need to just go to the header of the google form and here it gives you this option called add video so when you click on add video it opens uh, youtube as a channel so if you have the url of the video then you can directly add but url should be only of youtube url so for example if your video is unlisted if you don't want to make that video as public right it might be some customer engagement video so you can just have it unlisted and you can add the url but if the video is public then it can be searchable directly on another option which is video search so here let me just write my channel name cable kitchen and here you can see some awesome tutorials one of the tutorial is five steps to automate your business so let me just click on it and guess what this video has been embedded to the youtube uh to, to the google form itself right and then it gives you other options like you know if you instead of these options of how to communicate in email facebook uh, email and then face to face meeting zoom call instead of this if you have some products or services so it gives you the option of you know adding the images of your products and services as well so in the option of multiple choice or check boxes or drop downs uh, at the at the right side you can see this option of adding the images so you can upload the product image as well so we have designed this you know google form according to our company brand so let's see when we preview it how does it look like so when we open it this is how it looks like it includes your company header it includes a youtube video right it includes the colors and the fonts and everything right so this was it from my side on how can you customize a google form and how can you add your theme your brand your colors to make it much more personalized according to your own brand so if you like this lesson uh, make sure you share it with as many people as you can including your network your friends your employees and again repeating do not forget to subscribe because the channel is absolutely free every week you're getting tons of values right and one more thing which i want to share with you that if you are a business owner and past many years you're struggling to manage your business you're struggling to automate your business processes then i'm inviting you to my two hours of business automation masterclass where i'm going to tra uh, train you on how can you automate your business processes to get the freedom from daily firefighting uh, using google applications so that you can manage your entire business operations working only one hour a day now this particular masterclass has helped thousands of business owners from manufacturing trading services hotel real estate you name the industry and people have got the benefit of it and how can you enroll for this masterclass check out the link given in the description and sign up for the same so this is it from my side i hope you love this lesson and keep watching my next upcoming lessons and check out my other lessons which are in this particular playlist thank you so much keep learning keep automating and keep scaling your business